Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android and I um, want to show you what's called Easy Mode on the Galaxy S4. This is a really cool feature. Um, I know they have a lot of cool features, but this one is going to go unnoticed and I think it really is a good one for... This is going to be for uh, the people that are really novices out there that um, are not used to smartphones and need something really simple. Something even simpler than an iPhone, if you can believe it or not. And uh, you can do this by uh, one of two ways. Go into your settings, but also um, if the, if the uh, plan is to put it in Easy Mode right from the get-go uh, you can do it, it when the phone initially starts up and I'll show you that right now since this phone is already started up I'll show you what it looks like right now all right so now um, if you've already started the phone up and put it in uh, standard mode um, and you want to get to easy mode it's pretty simple just go into your settings swipe down and go in your settings and go into my device as you know there are different tabs here you want to go into the my device tab and you want to go into home screen mode right now it's set to standard and that's what it looks like which is what um, normal uh, what you're used to and easy mode really simplifies it and that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and it's also going to tell me that if I go back uh, to the standard mode whatever settings that I did on my home screens will remain in effect and be uh, and uh, and be restored. So now we'll go ahead and click OK and or tap OK and here we go. This is it. This is it in a nutshell. It's very simple. Um, three home screens and um, you get a, a time and a date and or calendar and um, and uh, weather widget and the icons are bigger over here. You can add uh, contacts, so it's quickly easy, you know, quickly and easy. They can dial their uh, whoever, family and friends. And uh, you got your call log here, so in your keypad, and you can see all your contacts there. Uh, very simple. Um, the apps here, uh, you can go ahead and hit edit from the menu here and get rid of any apps. So say uh, you want to get rid of the clock, this application will be removed and then it turns into a plus. Uh, and these are spots that you can add icons. So it's not, you're not going to be swiping from the app launcher. So if you want to add one, hit the plus and go back. We'll just put the clock right back and there it is. Uh, and then you hit done. So they leave you two um, to change and you can leave those the same or change them. Let me see if you can change these as well. These look like they're fixed here. You can't change those, uh, but you can modify these. Now, on, for all your apps, uh, you would just go to the app drawer, which lists them out alphabetically. No, um, not your usual app drawer with just icons, so it spells it all out. And you can also hit the menu and go right to the Play Store or search uh, from this as well. So it's very simple. It's uh, a very dumbed-down version, um, and it really is it's perfect for, say, your mom or your grandmother or whoever is just not used to smartphones and needs something very simple. I think this is a really cool feature that Samsung's added in, and like I said, a lot of people aren't going to care about it because it's not for me, but I think a lot of people can actually use this because uh, they just really don't get involved with all the other stuff, and the other stuff is scary. Now, just so you know, you still have access to the main power settings and stuff here, which interestingly enough isn't going to work because there's no more air view or any of that. And they can also change their display brightness as well. So that's, um, you know, is available. And there is the quick settings as well. Easy settings is right here where they can go in and look at their sound mode, change their brightness in this manner. So there still is basic settings. And you can go to the home screen mode here and change it okay as well as swiping down and still going to your settings and uh, going into home screen mode and now we're gonna go back to the standard mode hit apply and it's also telling us that it will restore any changes that we made in the easy mode that's gonna come back if we go back to it bingo it's done uh, it's also maybe good to let somebody if they're gonna borrow your phone for a couple of hours or whatever if you're gonna give your phone to your mom or something to really simplify it so that's it it's called easy mode and it's um, it's very easy like I said just like that quick and easy uh, you can't beat it easy mode Give it a shot for those that um, are just really new to smartphones and need something simple. So, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.